let's get into this cosplay tutorial. Okay, hear me out. I'm looking a little rough at first, but this is where we start out, okay? We're doing a closet cosplay, and a lot of you voted yes that you wanted to see a pirate cosplay or like Puss in Boots from this shirt that I wore. Now I'm just picking out a corset that I want to wear and I'm thinking I want to go for the Star Wars one just because it has the red reversible inside. I have this red skirt from a Dolores cosplay and this random belt I want to pair. Onto the wig, this started out as a Puss in Boots cosplay so I wore this orange wig and I cut the bangs and I thought it was really cute. This shirt was giving pirate vibes or like, hello darling. Fun fact, I actually made this corset. I followed a YouTube tutorial, which I believe was by Nava Rose. Extra fun fact, the boning is actually all zip ties. I absolutely could not be bothered with untying the corset, so I just decided to try to put it over my head, and as you can see, it was not going well. I absolutely love the fact that this is reversible because this looks so cute either way. Now I'm trying to decide whether I should switch to the black corset, but we, we just gonna keep this. Gots to see it through, my boy. Okay, let's put on the belt. Right here, my face just says it all. I was on the fence, but I... I had to put on the skirt just to see if I would end up liking it. At this time, I also realized I don't have cat ears for Puss in Boots. I also don't have a hat or like his little sword. So this is where we start to turn into my new OC character, Enya Myra Everlove. Huzzah! I finally found where the skirt opens and so I decided to put my little feet in there with my pajama pants on. Since I didn't have cat ears, I kind of wanted to put something on my head. So I was thinking maybe like a pirate bandana. So I had this Dolores head wrap and... <laughs> I couldn't decide how I wanted to put this on, and I was like, this ain't it. Easy, breezy, cover girl. Strike a pose. Vogue. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, that's the song going in my head. Then I tried just tying it back, and I, I just still wasn't really feeling it, so I decided to get rid of it. Time to accessorize. Does anyone remember that from the Catwoman game on GameCube? Anyways, I decided to use this little sword earring. I thought it was cute and I also decided to get my elf ears because now this was an OC cosplay and not Puss in Boots. I don't know why, but Enya Myra just seems like someone that would break the rules, so I'm wearing two different earrings. I honestly don't know which is easier to put on your elf ears before or after your wig because my wig was just getting caught in my earrings, it was getting caught in the wig. This was a process. After all was said and done, I was missing just one last thing. A sword! And this is actually a Minecraft sword, but we're gonna use it and pretend that I'm holding a mighty short sword. Or maybe she's a bard and can play this ocarina. Wow, I'm so good at that. I got this bag as a gift from my Dungeons and Dragons family, and so I decided to put this on my belt because I thought it looked cool and cute. Like, wow, I got this mysterious bag. It looks like there's a dragon eye. And then I tried to put this sword somehow in my belt, but it was too tight. So yeah, this, this is how we looking. With absolutely no sword training, I decided to flip this sword around and try to look cool but that wasn't working then i decided to just flip it from when i did winter guard and <laughs> obviously i'm a little rusty 